Sky Racing is primarily a broadcaster, telecasting more than 82,000 races each year to more than 6,000 commercial outlets across Australia and 30 countries around the world via satellite, cable, mobile and the internet. Sky Racing's domestic channels include Sky Racing 1, Sky Racing 2 and Sky Racing World, which provide up to 17 hours of live thoroughbred, harness and greyhound racing coverage each day. Sky Racing reaches approximately 2.2 million Australian homes with the potential to reach more than 5 million viewers. Horse racing is a very dynamic sport. People expect us to give them information so that they can make their bets with confidence. So therefore, we have to have reliable equipment in our OB trucks. The Grass Valley system has given us confidence that we can do our production and get everything out on time, as expected, every day, seven days a week. Everything that we do is live to air. We stream it down to Sydney, which then gets streamed out on Sky Racing 1, 2 and on Sky World. Speed and enhanced services for our customers is what is causing our business to change. The customer wants to view live, anywhere and at any time, whilst being able to retrieve old material when they want, which is very different to traditional linear television. They had to move from an ageing system to something newer and IT focused. The converged environment that is now within a television station has its benefits and its downsides. It allows us to drive efficiencies and do more with less. However, we still need to apply a broadcast mentality to this environment. We wanted to join up a lot of our workflows due to our current manual approach. Due to the ageing system that we had, uh, we needed to implement a new solution um, to tie in EMPS, the servers, as well as VizRT. Stratus allows us to have the media really available to us, uh, having one SAN, where uh, in the previous system we've had four or five different storage devices where we've had to transfer media real time, so it took a little bit of time for, for process. So with Stratus and in conjunction with Ardon, we we're able to really transfer our files around and have them readily available for us in a, at a short period of time. One of the greatest benefits is that we are now running in a SAN environment. Previously with silos of content, we were unable to integrate across departments. Utilising 80 ports based on K2 Summits, we now have a single repository where all our content is available to all our users through any of the integrated GV solutions. For us, the new Strata software GUI layer was the glue to join the hardware together. So all operators, from a replay person to a director, knew what was happening from a single UI. As a standalone unit, the K2 Summit is a four-channel recording system. We've combined 20 of those into a SAN which gives us over 1,500 hours of recording in high definition. Flexibility in Stratus is supreme and being able to use that and utilise that to our best ability is quite easy. Some of the unique capabilities of the inspector within Stratus are the fact that you can not only just clip up an asset, you can also add markers to that asset. So then that is also shared as well as the metadata instantly throughout the entire GV system. We wanted to enhance our newsroom workflow and help the producers with a single way to create content and get it into a control room. GV helped us integrate EMPS into Stratus and Aurora Player so that we can produce video content via our VizRT MAM and then post it to rundowns and it'll be ready in Aurora straight away. Simultaneously, a replay operator can make a highlight via K2 Dyno, which can then instantly be posted to a rundown that was currently live to air. These two different methods of content creation are very different from how we used to produce our channels. A Royal Playout is going to prove to be very valuable to us. Uh, previously with our old system, we've had to go searching for each clip by clip uh, and when you're in a live environment that's a little bit tricky. The playlist function on that is going to be great because we can come in in the morning, uh, do a little bit of prep, find all of our clips and then be ready and very confident to go to air with it. EMPS is another system we're implementing here along with the Grass Valley servers. So uh, with the Stratus plugin in EMPS, allows us to create our placeholders, attach our media and also then insert them into our rundowns. I recommend other broadcasters spend time and analyse with their operators to determine what they want to achieve with a new solution. 
We did a lot of proof of concept work with each vendor so everybody could see the system up close and use it like it was in our environment. This certainly helped to get further requirements and refine what we needed. Grass Valley provided us with a lot of help on configuration and commissioning of the system. With the integration of the new system, the Grass Valley support on site has been amazing. Um, the guys have been available from the word go. We've had um, one or two, sometimes even three, Grass Valley techs out here to help with any questions, queries or problems that we've had. The support has been amazing. Even though we are early adopters of this new system, we are seeing good user ownership and positive reactions. We are also confident that Grass Valley can provide further upgrades and feature sets to help us move forward in this new direction.